Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the most incompetent weapon re in game weapon reviewer on YouTube today. Welcome back to another episode of Fuck Around and Find Out. Today we're fucking around with the Black Powder Rifle and the Dragon. Now, the Dragon is a bit of a pain in the ass to get. You have to kill high level enemies for them to drop it. So, if you want one, do events, do shit like that, and then you'll get one that way. This one. You can get the plan for it. You can find one up at Black Bear Lodge, I think it is. I think, I think there's one up here. And yeah, I'm going to both test it, see if it's any good for new players and later players. And I'm going to show you how to use it properly. But first of all, we're going to test reload speed. That's without any perk cards. That wasn't bad. We'll put the perk card on to make it reload faster. Is... The... Ground pounder. So... Gives a couple seconds. But you'll definitely want it for this one. Because if we take it back off... Because it's got four barrels. It takes about three working days for it to reload. So I'll put it back on. If you can find it. There it is. Then. That's a lot faster. So if you are using the dragon, make sure you've got ground pounder on. Now. We'll test it without any perk cards or anything like that. <clears throat> but I also want to give you a tutorial on how to use it properly because I've seen a lot of people use it and all they do is shoot, reload, shoot again and that is the wrong way to use it. So we will be... I will be giving a sort of tutorial at the end if you're interested or if you're not then... Once this bit's over. Stop the video. Okay, we're at our favourite place in the world. The only card we've got on is ground pounder because I'm not waiting a month and a half for it to reload, but I missed. Aim small, miss small. Works for real life too. I still missed and I was at point blank. I suck. But this is a ranged weapon. We will use it at range. Uh, 133. Yeah. 133 with the chest shot. 291 with the headshot. Not bad. And it only took us like 9 bullets to be able to kill that one. Because we kept missing. Yeah, 133. Chest shot. Can you just stand still and keep shooting me, please? I missed. I missed your head. You moved. You're not allowed to move. Where'd you go? 265 with the headshot. Alright. So we'll give the dragon a go. Bear in mind this does have legendaries on it because it just comes like that. There's nothing I can do with it. I tried getting up one without any legendaries whatsoever. And this one outside of that just sucks. I'm going vats. And it still sucks. That's mm, 146. Alright, let's put the cards on. Let's repeatedly get shot while we put our cards on. Uh you want rifle num cards. Not ground not um Commando cards. You just want the rifle num cards. I forgot this one. Concentrated fire, headshot, and I've reloaded. And I still haven't reloaded. <clears throat> this is going well. Alright. Headshot. 
He was behind the stairs. Why did you click on to the engine? <sighs> Chest shot. With the cards on 252. That is a lot better. Need someone with more health. You. Keep still. 252. Yep. That's good. That's with the cards on. That's very good. A lot better. 551 with a headshot. No way. I've taken Nerd Rage off. Stop it from activating. <laughs> headshot. No, oh, just keep still. Thank you. Oh, wait, I need to reload. Single shot. If you're going to use one of these, get a quad at least. 503 with a headshot. Okay, that's good. That's a lot better. So you want my cards on. Try the dragon now. <laughs> Insta kill. <laughs> um. Insta kill. Oh, we're nearly dead anyway. Go away. Go away. Takes me a few days to reload. Leave me alone. Oof. 171. What? Bear in mind you are getting four pellets out of this, so that's 171 times four. That's a lot of damage. I'm taking your stuff. Because you have more balls for me. There's the only problem with this weapon, they don't drop as much ammo as you end up using by pumping it into them. Yeah. That was 290 times. Yeah, that's like insta kill. You dead? Yeah, you did. Plus it spreads damage across, plus it's got legendaries, so it explodes, plus, so, yeah. If you're going to use a black powder weapon, use a dragon. It's just a better one. You can use a rifle, it's not as good as we've seen. But it is good if you use it in bats and get a headshot. But then you're getting shot while you're reloading, which is bad. Which is why this also comes with a little tutorial on how to use it, and we will use that next when we go up against the Deathclaw. So I will bring you back when I've murdered all these and got to the Deathclaw. Okay, we're at Deathclaw Island, and we're going to be using the Black Powder Rifle. In tandem, as you can see, I have the Heavy Gunner perk on. I mean, you could use pistols or... Shotguns or automatic pistols, or you can even just use another rifle. It doesn't matter, but you want to use it in tandem with another weapon. I'm going to use my 50 cal because I want to. <laughs> All we're going to do is wait for this thing to spawn. There. I'm going to get a VAT shot off. Which instigates a fight, switch over, and then kill it. And that is how you use a black powder rifle. Now, we are going to test it on something a little bit tougher. This was just a little baby deathclaw. We're going to go see its dad, and we're going to test it on that one too. Okay, we're at Big Daddy Deathclaw, and you want to make sure that you can... You've got your weapons ready. Make sure they're reloaded because many a times I've gone into a fight, especially with a black powder rifle, and it hasn't been reloaded. So, what we're going to do, walk in, whether it's Spider Man's or crawls out the ground, it's Spider Man. Get the shot off with that, switch over, and. So you want it as an instigating weapon, so I have instigatings on this, which makes it a lot better. I think there's a Scorch Beast here, so when take a pot shot at it.
Scottish beast over here. Flapping about somewhere. Huh. Oh, there isn't. Hmm. Okay, I know what we can test it on. Now you spot me? Really? Now you spot me? I'm hidden. Let me fast travel. Please. <laughs> but yeah, you want to use it as an instigating weapon. So again, got it reloaded, everything. Reap up. Of I don't want to wait. The other my lurks up before the queen wakes up. You're supposed to use it as an instigating, but that missed. I'm going to get murdered. Yep. But yeah, you get the gist of it. You just want to use it as an instigating weapon just to start the fight off and kick it all off and blah, blah, blah. And it does work. You saw it with the other Deathclaw. It works. As long as you're in caution or hidden, you'll get the sneak damage. You'll get that critical hit. And then you'll just switch your weapon over and start pounding into them. And that is probably the best way to use a black powder rifle. You don't want to use it on its own because it is ass on its own. You want to use it in tandem with another weapon so you can murder more efficiently. Well, that's all we've got for that one, but yeah, black powder rifle on its own sucks in tandem with another weapon is a little bit better. Still not the best, but I won't say it's an early weapon, early game weapon is this because I think that it comes at level 45 or something, that's stupid, I don't know. No. Uh, level 15. This is it's a fairly early game weapon. But, yeah. I hope y'all found that informative. I hope y'all enjoyed me getting railed by my Lurk Queen. And I hope you all come back for the next one. Thank you all for watching. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Bye.